Welcome to... Please hang up and try again. My husband has requested that I do not disclose the location for reasons you will see a little later in the video. Isn't it beautiful? I was so awestruck by the landscape and the evening light that I completely forgot to film out here. No, I did not bike here. But we did camp here overnight. We were on BLM land. Now that's Bureau of Land Management. It's free to camp here, recreate here, and paint here. Because this land is your land, this land is my land. <clears throat> you get it. Now, if you are looking at this wondering, really, this place, why? I used to think the same thing about this state, but let me point out my glasses. These are polarized lenses. Maybe you have noticed from previous videos that I almost always wear these. My eyes are blue, kind of blue. There's blue on the outside, and there's just enough yellow on the inside that allow my eyes to look a little green at times. Got sidetracked. Point is, my eyes are very sensitive. The sunlight can be overwhelming and my eyes will water constantly. Polarized lenses make colors more vibrant and rich than they really are. For anyone who might think that these plein air pieces are not an accurate representation of the area because of this, I would say you're right. But I took a few photos and just by changing the angle of the camera, I saw subtle shifts in vibrancy. And not to mention, this is a painting. Here's the reason my husband would prefer I keep the location a secret. We love animal spotting. He was hoping to see mule deer, but we were surprised to see desert bighorn sheep, the official animal of Nevada. By the way, that's how locals pronounce it. Nevada. Sheep. You see that bush right there? You see that bush over there? No, no, right there. Kids, come here. Got some big curls. Yeah, those are really, really big The bighorn officially became the state's animal in 1973 and are now endangered. Kids, come here, slowly. Kids, come here slowly so you can see. Oh, there you go, there you go. They love steep, rocky areas and high elevations, which was why we were so surprised to see them. I know, I saw oh, them. Oh, yeah. They have amazing eyesight. Therefore, they were aware of us and soon disappeared over the next ridge. It was like 15 of them. So there's a whole bunch of them on that side. Where? These are the blue guys over here. Blue guys are over there. But I actually lost interest before that. I really like making art. Back to the story. I remember one of my professors in college theorized that one of the reasons Van Gogh painted the way he did was because that's how he saw the world. I can't confirm that or that it was even my professor's original theory, but it does bring to mind the power of perspective. I don't want to see the world through my tears, so I have to literally wear rose-colored glasses. I'm not seeing a lie. I'm just seeing things in a different way. How do you want to see things? With the right perspective, anywhere is beautiful. So get out there and see this beautiful country this beautiful world. Paint it your way. Oh, and by the way, if you were wondering what those little things moving across the rocks were the whole time, those are Mormon crickets. Mormon crickets get huge, and they're actually not even a cricket. They're a shield-backed katydid. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.